Hi, it's Thomas from Homea Games and today I have the pleasure to share you the solo mode of Varro. So the solo mode is available in the core box. We decided to include it in the classic game. So in the solo mode, like in the competitive mode, you participate at the great tournament of Varwag. You want to become the new Archmage, but you also want to have the most prestigious title. And how you will do that? You will choose your mode, classical, easiest or hardest. According to that, you will have 6, 8 or 10 games to accomplish the most objective as possible. Here you have a little table. So. Of course, this is the time you won't have just a sheet of paper in the final version of the game. It will be a real artwork, a real designed um, sheet. You will have different objectives represented like that. You have fire, water, earth and air. And for each element you have 10, in fact it is 10 objectives to accomplish. So, after each game you will cross the objective you have accomplished, so there will be a number and the listed objectives down below. Um, the objectives will be like uh, having at least 60 points, 70 points, but they will also have thematical objectives like having all the plans in one game, trigger the wrath of gods, uh, some objectives in terms of training, in terms of creatures you've defeated, or more global objectives. I won't tease everyone, but there are a lot of objectives as there are 40 objectives. And how you will get your title, so we I take back the sheet, we will look at the end of the 6, 8 or 10 games, which element is dominant. That will give you already one title, so for example only fire, only earth, or, uh, or they also can be tied between, between two elements of course, and we'll look how many objectives you have accomplished in total. So for example, let's say you have accomplished 20 objectives of, out of 40, so not that much. You will be a simple wizard, well that's already better than an apprentice, and that the earth is dominant, you will be a necromancian wizard. And so it will be uh, different, there will be that way uh, more than uh, 30 uh, title possibilities. And so how do we play at the solo mode? In the solo mode the setup is like a two player game setup. Except that here you don't have draft phase or of course because drafting alone well is not very possible or at least not very funny. So you have here a river of creature and each time you go here in the arena, you choose one of the creatures, you defeat it, if you're able to of course, you always check the needed skills if you have it, and we put the cards here on the right and we draw a new one, like Classic River, like our campaign mode, if you saw our cooperative expansion video. And you will play against a fictional player, and how will he plays his pawns, there will be programming cards, intelligent programming cards. Here, again, uh, don't be scared, it's a really, really prototyped. Uh, you'll have bigger cards and more beautiful, it is just not um, printed yet. And so you will reveal, you will draw one card each round. If you are first player, okay, let's say I'm first player for beginning, I place my wizard, for example, in the arena, and um, by an intelligent system it will be revealed uh, not at the same time. First you will saw here the assistant goes to the university, so you play the assistant. You have to respect the rule. The assistant can't follow a magical lesson that is only available for the wizard. He will attend the left lesson but respecting that rule. So not here, not here, but here. You can't go uh, attend this lesson anymore. Then you place another pawn, let's say I pay my mercenary, I go here at the magical fountain, and you can see, secondly, he will place his monk, if he gets the monk, of course, or if he went to the sanctuary already before, and here, in this example, he will place the monk at the sanctuary, and by intelligent mechanism, you will know how many veils he will place and on which statue, and then you place another pawn and will place the mercenary 
at the cavern and the wizard at the tavern. All the programming cards are different. Sometimes the fictional player doesn't place the mercenary. If the mercenary is mentioned, he by default is able to pay him all the time. In fact, he has quite infinity of golds. We don't care about that. We don't care about the skill points he earns. But there are some specificity. Well, if he goes here, he will annoy you using dark magic. But of course, if he goes there, it is a bonus. So we don't care about the bonus. Uh, instead of that, he will discard the right third creature cards. Here, no problem, no problem. Uh, other thing specific, it's the arena. If he goes to the arena, he will also discard the writer creature cast. So you have to anticipate a little bit. If you are interested in the creature cards, you have to be careful on the cards that are uh, most on the right. At the end of the game, you will earn the five prestige points if you have attended most magical lessons than the fictional player and you will have to take care of the objectives. The game ends when the creature card deck is empty or after 12 rounds. So it is uh, defined at the beginning, you will play 12 rounds, not more. That's all for the solo mode. So as I said, it is available here now in the basic game. So if you're interested, the Kickstarter link of the campaign is in the description of the video. You can comment the video, don't hesitate to comment it, to ask any question, it will be a pleasure to answer them. Also like and share the video as much as you want. And we see you another time for another video. Ciao!